experienced that with my weight fluctuation mm. for the first time. Yeah. I have lupus and yeah. deal with kidney issues and uh, high blood pressure, so I deal with a lot of health um, issues. Mm -hmm. So for me, I really noticed when people started attacking me for that. Selena Gomez has brought up her disease and is now begging Haley Baldwin fans to stop calling her a fat whale. In a haphazard series of events, Gomez was a victim of cyberbullying on a number of social media platforms. Although Baldwin denies any association, Haley Baldwin's fans have been going at Selena Gomez for quite a while now. It's among circumstances like these that Selena Gomez has finally spoken up about her disease and expressed her wish to stop being referred to as a fat whale. Why have Hailey Bieber fans been criticizing Selena Gomez's weight? And how has Gomez responded to this messy situation? Let's have a look at this video. Although Selena Gomez's disease has been with her for years, the topic of her weight issues has brought up most recently when paparazzi captured her in an awkward position. The It Ate Me singer was walking out of an event in Los Angeles when the paparazzi captured some photographs of Gomez that are now dividing the internet into two sides. The first thing to happen was that social media users pointed out that the star had a huge Snickers bar showing from inside her bag. This gave some fans room to begin discussing Selena Gomez's weight on social media platforms. One user wrote, People with lupus or autoimmune diseases don't have to be fat unless they take care of their body. Selena looking like this isn't because of some autoimmune disease. It's because of this Snickers she can't control on. And thanks for the concern, Dojo is a thriving, healthy woman. Fans such as these completely eliminated her disease as a cause for the actress's apparent body weight issues. As far as the now popular photo is concerned, Selena was wearing a burgundy self-portrait dress with a plunging neckline and button embellishments. People were quick to point out that the actress's snicker bar, however, was gaining the most attention. At Selenators wrote on Twitter, Selena having Snickers in her purse made more noise than the past life and 999 combined. Gomez had complimented her look with an open-toed shoe and a Saint Laurent patent leather purse that served as a trendy chocolate bar holder. Selena had previously mentioned that one of her staples to keep on hand while traveling is chocolate, along with hot Cheetos. Gomez, who has been open about her lupus battle, recently discussed the backlash she received when she gained weight as a result of the disease. In an interview with Giving Back Generation, Gomez talked about how the disease contributed to her gaining weight. Here's what she had to say. I experienced body image issues with my weight fluctuation for the first time. I have lupus and deal with kidney issues and high blood pressure, so I deal with a lot of health issues. For me, that's when I really started noticing more of the body image stuff. The 27-year-old singer also revealed how some of the other side effects of high blood pressure and taking her lupus medication caused her weight to fluctuate. It's the medication I have to take for the rest of my life, she revealed. It depends on the month, to be honest. I really noticed when people started attacking me for that. However, as fans criticized Selena Gomez irrationally for gaining some weight, there are plenty who stepped up to defend the superstar. One user shared their disappointments and thoughts on the matter, saying, I really hate the body shaming against Selena, because a lot of the time, it's just because she has a round face. And as someone with a round face, I have struggled with my weight because of my round face since I was a young teen. Another user, at Love Only Carlito, followed suit by backing Gomez on Twitter. Selena looks that way because she's taking a lot of steroids. People who take that medication tend to gain weight and their faces turn round. People are mean for body shaming her. Gomez further went on to say that in reality, all of that is just her truth, which fluctuates depending on what's happening in her life. Explaining that since it's not under her control, Gomez added that it got to her big time. I think for me, that really messed me up for a bit, she said. After all, the severity of the comments made by social media users on multiple platforms were quite high. Some users had left no stone unturned in their attempts to make Selena Gomez feel terrible about her increasing weight gain issues. 
Cyberbullying is not just a thing of the past. Users have continued to make similar comments on Twitter, despite her bringing attention to the disease. Damn, Selena got fat, wrote at Saint underscore rapper, responding to comments such as these. The Wizards of Waverly Place actress has also said that comments about her weight caused her to briefly leave and reevaluate her relationship with social media. I'm very happy with living my life and being present, because that's it. Similar to me posting a photo and walking away, for me, that's it. I'll do a red carpet, I'll do whatever. I don't need to see it. I participated, I felt wonderful, and that's where the extent of it is. I don't care to expose myself to everyone and hear what they have to say," Gomez said. In regards to her own experience, Selena Gomez also stressed the importance of having a positive and healthy relationship with social media. It's not going anywhere anytime soon, but knowing that real world's in front of you and trying to pay attention to that is healthy," Gomez said. When I make an effort to post on social media, it's important for me to make sure it's 100% authentic. And once I post it, I post it. That's it. After being diagnosed with lupus in 2014, Gomez had spent two weeks at a treatment center. In 2016, she had also made a statement revealing that she was dealing with autoimmune illness issues. This was also the time when she went back to therapy for anxiety, panic attacks, and depression. By January 2018, she'd also finished a two-week anxiety and depression therapy program in New York City. When Gomez first spoke up about the disease back in 2016, this is what she had revealed. As many of you know, around a year ago, I revealed that I have lupus, an illness that can affect people in different ways, she said in the statement. I've discovered that anxiety, panic attacks, and depression can be side effects of lupus, which can present their own challenges. I want to be proactive and focus on maintaining my health and happiness, and have decided that the best way forward is to take some time off," she continued. Thank you to all my fans for your support. You know how special you are to me, but I need to face this head on to ensure I'm doing everything possible to be my best. I know I'm not alone. By sharing this, I hope others will be encouraged to address their own issues. The disease Selena Gomez has is actually quite terrible in a number of ways. Fibrous tissue, the internal organ inflammation, skin rashes, and joint discomfort are all symptoms of the condition. It also tends to affect nine times as many women as it does males. The kidneys, heart, and lungs are among the organs damaged by lupus. In this regard, Selena has also talked about Francesca Raza, who is her friend as well as her kidney donor. In an interview with Today, she opened up about the kidney transplant. My kidneys were just done. That was it, Gomez said. I didn't want to ask a single person in my life, and that was the day when I came home, I found out she volunteered and did it. You feel that Francesca saved your life, the host Savannah Guthrie asked the It Ain't Me singer during the interview. Because she did. That's it. I got to a point where it was really kind of life or death, Gomez went on to reply. Is it finally time for social media users to quit criticizing Selena Gomez's weight issues publicly? Do share your thoughts in the comments below.